Hello and welcome back. We do have another operator that we will talk about, and that is the reference operator within Expresso. This reference operator will allow us to reference any object within any hierarchy using just four letters that we can put in into this path slot, which happen to be existing in the inputs of this reference operator. And these four letters are N for next, P for previous, D for down, and U for up. To see this in action, I do have these objects within my objects panel. And I do have them lay down the exact same way in my front view. Now, if I want to reference this objects, let's say the tube, a tube is a child of the espresso. So it's going to be down to the espresso. And the cylinder is going to be a child of the tube. And the tube is a child of the espresso. So it's going to be down, down. So it's going to be D, D. I'm going to use two letters right here. And then let's say we want to reference that cone. It's going to be D, D, N because uh, the cone is next to the cylinder in the same level. So let's see this in action. Let's uh, grab this Expresso and put it into Expresso Editor. And then let's extract the corresponding data type, which is the object. And then let's connect that to the instance input of the reference operator. And then let me create another object uh, operator because I do have one right here and then let's extract this instance to the object all right let me just grab one of these basic properties let's say the name so we can know which object we are referencing so let's grab a result node just to read out this name so it's going to be a result. The data type is going to be changed from real to string because we're dealing with a name. A name is a string. So let's connect that. Now we are referencing the Expresso. So we're going to reference that. Now, if we just go back to the reference operator and then change this path or enter any of these four letters to reference another object within this hierarchy. So let me just grab this tube so it's going to be down because it's a child of the espresso as we said before so it's going to be d let's click outside and now we do have instead of the espresso the tube because we are referencing that tube right now so let's uh reference this cylinder for instance so it's going to be d d because the d is a child of this tube so it's going to be d d and we do have the cylinder now. So let's add another thing to the whole setup. And uh, we want to change the name or read out the name of the new object referenced. But we also want to change its color. So let's do that. Basic properties, display color. Let's add that. And now let's control this display color with a constant. And let's change the data type that constant to color because we want to control the color. So let's change this color to maybe red. And then let's connect it to that display color. Now we are controlling the color of the referenced object. All right, now we are referencing that cylinder, but we don't see the color red. So we're going to have to use basic color. So we're going to select all of these objects and go to the basic tab and then use color. Let's change this from off to on. So we do have all of these objects taking the color white, except this cylinder taking the color red because we are changing its color in this object operator using this constant. So let's go back to the reference operator and uh, reference another object. Let's say we want to reference that sphere. So it's going to be the letter P for previous because the sphere because the sphere is preceded this Expresso object. It happened to be existing before that Expresso. So let's say we want to reference that torus. So it's going to be P P previous previous. All right. Now we do have this torus 
in uh, selected and referenced in this reference operator. Let's say we want to reference this platonic and this platonic is a child of this oil tank and the oil tank is a child of the cube and the cube is a child of this espresso. I hope I'm not losing anyone right now. So let's say we are referencing that espresso. We want to reference that tube. So it's going to be N or sorry, D. And then we want to reference that cube. So it's going to be next because the cube happened to be existing after the tube. So it's going to be N. We go in here. So we're going to reference that uh, platonic. So it's going to be D because the oil tank is a child of the cube and the platonic happen to be existing after the oil tank. So it's going to be D for down so we can reference this oil tank and then N to reference that platonic. So let's click outside. Now we do have this platonic. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.